Bullfrogs and Lizards is a collection of audio stories about the adventures of a group of children living in an Australian country town in the early 20th century. There are floods, fire, thieving magpies and piglets covered in grease. So if you love great stories, search for Bullfrogs and Lizards on Spotify now. Welcome to Super Great Kids Stories, fun tales to make you laugh and cry with some of the best storytellers from around the world, recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. Hello, how are you? I'm very pleased because we're starting a new theme this week, animal stories. And I've been talking to the super great kids storytellers about all the tales we plan to tell. We've got stories about monkeys, leopards, snakes, tigers, crows and, well, that's enough for now. Don't want to spoil the surprise. The story I'm going to tell today is The Monkey Who Looked for Trouble. It comes from the Caribbean and it's about a little monkey who didn't want any help. Do you have times when you want to do something all by yourself? It's good to do things all by ourselves, but sometimes it means we have to learn from our mistakes. But first, I'd like to dip into my bag of happies and say thank you to Alyssa, who is half Russian, half British, and she lives in Bangkok. How international is that? Alyssa sent us a beautiful picture of Pip the dog flying into the sky to meet her friend Moon Rabbit. Thank you, Alyssa. Since we've just finished a theme about friends, I wonder if some of you could message me on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash stories, and tell me which is your favourite friendship story. And thanks to Alana who sent in a fun picture of Anansi and the tree with a face. Alana and her sister Abigail sometimes tell their own version of these stories while out on walks. Ha! That is really good news. Listening to and telling these stories will help you write stories too. And finally, thanks very much to our new supporters on Kofi, Kirsty and Sasha. One of Sasha's favourites is Toops, How the Whale Got Its Sad Song. Yes, I agree, Sasha. That truly is one of the all-time greats. And thank you for your donation. Very kind. If you'd like to support us on Ko-fi, go to ko-fi.com forward slash stories. Right now, time for this week's story, The Monkey Who Looked for Trouble. I found this story in a book by Diane Walkstein, who collected tales from storytellers in Haiti and then had them translated so we could all enjoy them. There's another version in a beautiful book called Tales of Wisdom and Wonder by Hugh Lupton. I've told the story to my children and now I'm passing it on to you and hope that you'll make it yours and tell it to someone else. Ready? I say crick and you say... That's right. If you're ready, you say crack. Let's try it. Crick. Crack. Once upon a time in Haiti, there lived a young mother who didn't have much money. But one thing she did have, and that was bees. Lots and lots of buzzy, fuzzy bees. So... All year she filled her children's bellies with sweet, happy, sticky honey. One day she poured all her extra honey into a great clay pot and filled it to the brim. She lifted it onto her head and set off walking carefully through the forest to sell it at the market. Slip, slap. Slippity slap, slip, slap, slippity slap went her flip flops. Shall we do it? Slip, slap, slippity slap, 
slip, slap, slippity slap. She walked and she walked and she walked and as she walked, she began dreaming of all the delicious food she might buy for her children. Oranges and peppers, potatoes and yams, mangoes and suddenly, whoops, she tripped on a root and crash! The pot smashed into a hundred pieces. Ay, 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 said the woman, watching the precious golden honey ooze all over the path. She looked up at the sky and cried, Papa God, oh, Papa God, why do you give me so much trouble? But she shrugged, nothing to be done. So she turned and flip-flopped all the way back home. Shall we do it? Slip, slap, slippity, slap, slip, slap, slippity, slap, sighing and grumbling as she went. Nothing but trouble, Papa God. You send me too much trouble. Meanwhile, who was there all the time up in a tree watching but Little Monkey? Little Monkey scratched his head. <laughs> what was this stuff? Trouble which Papa God had given to the woman. Did Monkey go and ask his mum? No. Did Monkey go and ask his friend? No. Monkey didn't want to ask anyone. Monkey wanted to find out all by himself. So he scampered down from the tree to discover what trouble was all about. He pushed his finger into the sticky puddle and gave it a lick. Mmm, trouble tastes yummy. And then another finger. Ooh, trouble tastes scrummy. And then another finger. Ah, trouble tastes delicious. Then another and another and another until now he was shoveling it into his mouth as fast as his hairy hands would allow. <laughs> and when he had licked and scooped up every last delicious drop, he sighed. Little Monkey wanted more trouble. But where did trouble come from? Little Monkey scratched his head. Did trouble grow on trees, like coconuts? Did trouble grow in the ground, like sweet potatoes? Then he remembered something. What did the woman say? Can you remember? She looked up at the sky and she said, Papa God, why do you give me so much trouble? So, aha! Eagerly, Little Monkey swung off through the trees in search of Papa God. He climbed higher and higher and higher until he reached the tippy-tippy top of the tallest tree. And then he leapt onto a cloud. Get ready to leap. One, two, three, boing! And there was Papa God's hut, with Papa God himself sitting on the porch in his battered straw hat, watching the world go by. Ah, uh, good, good, good morning, Papa God, said Monkey. Hello, little monkey, said Papa God. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I've come to see you, said Monkey. Yes, little monkey, smiled Papa God. Ah, uh, Papa God, I'd like some trouble. Papa God looked puzzled. Trouble, little monkey? Yes, please, trouble, lots of it. Little monkey, are you sure you know what you're asking for? Asked Papa God, frowning. Oh, yes, I've already had lots of trouble, Papa God, but I want more. I'd like as much trouble as you can possibly give me, if that's not too much trouble. 
Trouble is yummy. Trouble is scrummy. Trouble is delicious. OK, 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 little monkey. If that's what you want, I have plenty of trouble. And Papa God shuffled off into his hut and came out with a big brown sack. Take this sack, little monkey, and carry it all the way to the desert where no trees grow. Then you may open it, and I promise you, you'll have plenty of trouble. Thank you so much, Papa God. You're very kind, said Monkey, slinging the bag over his shoulder and leaping off the cloud. Ready? One, two, three, and... Boing! Then, wee! Little monkey slid back down the tree and out into the forest. Then he ran and he ran and he ran until he was deep into the desert. When he was in the middle of the desert, little monkey put down the sack, wiped his brow, licked his lips and eagerly untied the knot. And do you know what was inside that sack? <gasps> not one, not two, not three, but four dogs. Big, brown, slobbering dogs. Grrr, went the dogs. <gasps> went Monkey. And what would you do? Well, Monkey ran as fast as he could, leaping across the desert. <gasps> The dogs gave chase, howling and growling and snarling. Grrr, went the dogs. Ooh, went monkey. Grrr, the dogs got closer. Grrr, and closer. Ooh, little monkey could feel their hot breath on his neck. Ooh, but little monkey had no trees to climb. Grrr, went the dogs, and just as Monkey was about to give up, a tree appeared. <gasps> Out of nowhere, one solitary little tree. Grow, 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 grow. And before it had even reached the sky, Monkey scampered up into that tree. <gasps> Little monkey sat and shook and trembled. Grrr, went the dogs below, growling and snarling and howling. But dogs, as you well know, cannot climb trees. They sat and they watched and they waited. But monkey did not come down from that tree. And in the end, when the sun was sinking, those dogs, disappointed, slunk away across the desert in search of other food. And very quietly, Baby Monkey crept down the tree and ran faster than the wind all the way to the forest until he was safely back home. Ah, oh, littlest monkey, it wasn't trouble you wanted, said his mum. It was honey. And she put a big jar of honey down in front of him. And little monkey stuck his finger in the sweet golden liquid. Ah, said little monkey, honey is yummy. Honey is scrummy. Honey is delicious. And the question is this. Who do you think put that tree in the middle of the desert? Papa God, of course, because he knows that little monkeys can only do so much on their own before they need a little bit of help. And that is where that story ends. Crick, crack.
Oh, I love that story, don't you? Brave little monkey. And he got his honey in the end. Thanks for listening. A special thanks to all our listeners in Bristol and in the Bronx. Storytelling brings the world together. If you'd like to support our podcast, then head over to ko-fi.com forward slash super great kids stories. And do keep sending in pictures and reviews. We love to hear from you. I wonder what you think Papa God looks like. Bye for now. Until next week.